It's me, Jason Funny, on the Webby YouTube channel. And before I get started, you got to plug uh, some stuff, though. Make right? sure you follow Webby on Twitter and his Facebook page for his YouTube channel at 2007Webby. And then also follow me on Twitter at, at, Jason, Fun at Jason Funny 3 Jason Funny 3, that's together. And uh, also follow me on my Facebook page for my YouTube channel at FunnyTubles42. At FunnyTubles42. This is a blast from the past <laughs> with Jason Funny here on the Webby uh, Network. The Webby, uh, <laughs> no, it's not a network. Webby YouTube channel there. So, let's get started. Let's go to the beginning. Okay, in the almost around the mid 80s. Uh just like the Big Bang theory, uh when the universe was created, uh came an explosion in 1984 that created the beginning of Hawkamania. That's right, Hawkamania, the blast from the past. And I do not believe it will ever be forgotten. And we are going to highlight, highlight here on this particular video some of the um, best uh, moments of Russell well, WrestleMania, of Hawkamania. And so we're going to get to it, brother. What you going to do, brother? Yeah. Well, anyway. And uh, I had some tuna teeth. <laughs> anyway, here, anywho, here we go. Picture this. 1984. The Iron Sheik loses to... Hulk Hogan. By the way, his popularity was already going up anyway. He'd been a heel, though, in the WWE or WWF back then. And uh, he started being a good guy. His popularity started really growing. And when Hogan won the belt from the Iron Sheik, uh, the crowd went wild. Now, he didn't have the Hulkamania show quite yet, but he was ripping off his shirts. And... Um, that was the beginning of uh, Hawkamania. Um, first of all, let's highlight a little bit here. Hulk Hogan, was he a good technical wrestler? Could he get in the ring and go, he go, wow, this man can wrestle? I mean, was he a, did he have the ability in the ring, such as a Ric Flair, to deliver uh, his moves just right? Did he have the ability in the ring uh, uh, um, to do precision uh, moves? Uh, was he all that great of a technical wrestler? Um, probably uh, no. <laughs> and he was pretty good size wrestler. I mean, not quite seven foot tall, but he was just right under seven foot tall. Weighed 300-something pounds, very muscular, and blonde, bleached hair, mostly. And uh, so he was just like, okay, he's just... Most big guys like that have no personality. They don't know how to talk behind the microphone. They don't know how to pump up the crowd. I do not believe to this day... There has ever been a WWE superstar or wrestler, so let's just go to professional wrestler, that could ever pump up a crowd such as Hulk Hogan. Folks, 
Hulk Hogan knew how to pump up the crowd. And every time he won a victory, it wasn't his any of his ring ability. It wasn't anything he'd done in the ring. It was special. Uh, it wasn't even his uh, fantastic leg drop that usually won him the match. It was the ability to play the crowd. And it was more than just mic skills. And honestly, in his movies, he was a mediocre actor. He was okay. He wasn't the actor, and he didn't become a success in acting like The Rock has become. He knew how to woke the crowd. He knew how to pump it up. Greatest moment in Hulkamania is when he beat my all-time favorite, Andre the Giant. Not the longest match. Probably not even the best match on the card at WrestleMania 3. Because in my opinion, that was not the best match on the card as far as wrestling is concerned. Was it the most entertaining? Yes. Did Hogan know how to pump up the crowd? Yes. Even though it wasn't the most fantastic match, it drew 93,000 plus inside of a building. And perhaps probably the greatest there of all time, one of the greatest. And it really wasn't all that great of a match. Hogan was not a technical wrestler. He wasn't all that great. He knew how to woke the crowd. Hulkamania produced Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. Some of you younger ones won't know that what that is. I remember in the eighties. Hulkamania was everywhere. T shirts. I mean, T. I, I'm mean, fourteen. I had a Hulkamania shirt for years. I don't even know what happened to it, but I couldn't fit into it now anyway. When I was a teenager, in my early teens, I had a Hulkamania shirt, and so did a lot of kids, and a lot of adults had Hulkamania shirts. WWE made a fortune. Hogan went on to take on. Uh, other foes and rivals. I think the Mega Powers was a pretty good, um, pretty good uh, tell in the WrestleMania. I mean, in Hulkamania saga. I think the Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan was a, a outstanding match. Also, just because the excitement of the match uh, of two very popular superstars, and of course, Hulkamania had its highs and lows and. Then Hulkamania moved on to the WCW, and and here comes Hogan in the NWO. Then Hogan makes a couple returns to the WWE, and Hogan's come across some hard times in his life, and maybe his original wife took him to the cleaners as far as all his money has probably got, a majority of his fortune has gone. But I don't believe there will ever be another Hawkamania. Now, maybe I'm not funny enough for this video. I don't know, but I'm just giving my opinion. Long-time wrestling fans would probably agree with me. They will never, ever be a Hawkamania again. Hogan was a specialist when he got in that ring. And even when he was a bad guy... Even when he was at the NWO and WCW, even when he was uh, hated by the, he knew how to work the crowd. He knew how to make the crowd boo louder, as well as cheer louder. Hogan's heydays are over with. Perhaps we will see him again a few times at upcoming events in WWE. He's gone but not forgotten. People from my generation... And hopefully for some generations to come, we'll never forget Hawkamania. I mean, WrestleMania, Hulk Hogan was there, started the whole thing, had his matches, but I think the highlight was WrestleMania 3. Hawkamania was probably around before it was. It was around before WrestleMania was. When Hogan prefers, calls himself immortal, we know that one of these days he, you know, he's not going to live forever physically. 
But I believe Hulkamania is immortal. It never will be a guy that can woke the crowd. And, and uh, for that reason, Hulk Hogan should be honored, not for his wrestling abilities, or some of the mistakes he's done in the past, but Hulk Hogan should be judged on his performance and that Hulkamania was a force in professional wrestling entertainment. It was a force to be dealt with. By the way, I forgot to mention the match between him and Zeus was pretty good and no Holds Bart was not a bad movie. Some of his other movies wasn't as great, I don't think. But No Holds Bart was a good movie. Zeus was pretty awesome. But anyway, uh, that is the blast from the past from Jason Funny here on Webby's YouTube channel. And you know what? This is what. I'll see you again next time on A Blast from the Past and see you on the funny side. Mm.